Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. Today we got some Walking Dead TV show discussion for you. Yes. So, uh, as you know, there's a new new showrunner in town. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Scott Gimple is no longer the showrunner. He's been promoted to oversee the entire franchise. <laughs> promoted? With, promoted, uh, in a sense. Demoted <laughs> with a promotion <laughs> and probably a pay raise. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Angela Kang, I believe it is? Yeah, I, I believe that's Angela it. Angela Kang? We might yeah. be getting that wrong. Yeah. But, but uh, so, basically, what this video here today is, finally, Robert Kirkman speaks out on Carl Grimes' death. Yes. So, today, we want to go over that article with you guys and have a little discussion as to what we think, um, our thoughts on... Right. Uh, Robert Kirkman's yeah. thoughts. Yeah. We've been waiting for it. He's been silent pretty much this he whole time. He has. And, like, uh, couple weeks, I think it took. Couple weeks. And he just recently did uh, an interview with uh, Entertainment Weekly, and that's where this uh, article comes from. So Yeah. So check out the link below, guys. We'll we'll throw it in there for you. But uh, let's start. So on Carl's death, and uh, apologies, guys. I'm going to be looking at my screen here reading. Uh, we'll also put it up on the, on the screen there for you. Yep. So uh, on Carl's death, uh, this is Robert Kirkman talking. Uh, I think Scott first brought it up to me as a possibility probably about a year and a half ago at this point. At first, I was kind of like, well, that's a big one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have had a little bit of trepidation, uh, but once he laid out to me exactly what his long-term plans were and the things that were would come out of it uh, and the things that lead to, lead to leads that it leads to, blah, uh, it was something I got on board with. Uh, let's stop there. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, getting on board with it, I mean, because we all know that Robert Kirkman doesn't have, he doesn't have final say on a bunch of stuff. He's more of just yeah, I don't know. An, an advisor in a sense. They're going to come with him with ideas and questions, but he can't say no and they can't not do it. You know, he has no pull, basically. Yeah, um, I, got the, I, I got the sense, though, that him and Scott Gimple were pretty tight, like pretty yeah. close together. Yeah. And, and uh, matter of fact, uh, a lot of people were saying that Gimple, uh, you know, a lot of the comic book fans were saying that Gimple didn't know anything or didn't follow the comics. Actually, I thought he followed the comics more than Darabont and, and the ones that preceded him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I you can't know. remember if he mentioned to in interviews if he was closely, you know, attached. I wouldn't say attached, but read the comics or whatever. He did. He has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he has read the comics. Um, so yeah, I, you know, to me though, that line, it, it, I thought it was just bullshit to be honest. Mm. Like what else is Robert going to do though? Yeah. I'm, I got to get on board with yeah. it. what he's going to do. I may, you know, like he said, I had trepidation. I'm going to be like, well, of course you did. I don't know like, what, you know, he's going to say it, but he's, but Gimple's going to go ahead and, and go forward with it because that's his, his vision yeah. of the show. Like I got so. the feeling, honestly, like at this point that Robert Kirkman knows, like in my opinion, and it's probably his opinion as well. He's like, look, I, I have the better material here as in the book. Right. Um, and I'm just going to continue to do my thing and let you exactly. guys do your thing. And, yeah. and if you guys burn it to the ground, you burn it to the ground. Well, I mean, Robert Kirkman would have had to already approved of what they did with Andrea. You know, he was uh, in a sense, I mean, he, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe he was pretty pissed about that. That yeah. he did not have the say. Yeah, he that. didn't have to say. So he's going to he's going to like he said, I'll get on board with it, but I'm not going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's so. so it continues. Um, I know that some fans online uh, have been very upset, but that's by design. We're not supposed to be happy with these characters die when these characters die. Uh, we are supposed to be worried about what comes next and anticipating what comes next and stressing out about what comes next. That just shows that we're engaged, that you're engaged and you're interested. Our job now is to pay that off and fulfill that interest uh, and prove that this was a decision worth making. That's what we've got to do. So, I yeah. mean, he's absolutely right in that sense where he's basically saying, look, we set out to make this decision. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have to prove to the fans that it was worth making. Right. Um, and that's where I was going to go, basically, is we don't know if this is going to pay off because we don't know the entire story and how right. Carl's death leads into that. Mm -hmm. Right? That's true. Um, I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, a bunch of YouTubers have you know, voiced their opinions online. I'm sure there's a bunch of Reddit articles and stuff. So... 
we're just we're so upset because of you know what Carl was meant to us in the comics and what he's meant in the show. So we just felt that killing a major character, which is one of Rick's kind of lifelines to his sanity, where is that going to go in the future? Now, yeah. like Josh said, we don't know Gimple's plan of finishing off this series. We're, we're going to be finding out soon. So hopefully it turns out for the best. Um, but we just don't know yet. But we got some... Uh, yeah. we, we'll get into a little bit later some comments from... Um, Greg Nicotero's of what he mentioned Nicotero. too. Nicotero. Nicotero, excuse me, yeah. um, for what he mentioned too. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, yeah. it's got people worried though. I, I mean, it does. There was even an article that I read the other day that Andrew Lincoln was spotted with no beard, mm. and now everyone's freaking out that Andrew Lincoln's going to leave the show. That's not happening. Like, that's just not going to happen. Well, they're done filming, so I mean, he's just doing something. Yeah, else, I meant you know? like for season nine and <laughs> right. Ten oh and yeah, yeah. More, and, and you know, no, that's Plus, not going to happen. And they've asked him too. People have tried asking him, and he's kind of. He hasn't given much away of what he wants to do. No. They're assuming he may not come back because he wants to be with his family. His family lives in England. Um, his family's not moving here to L.A. Yeah. and stuff. So yeah, let's you know. let's address the line where he says, uh, "You're supposed to be in suspense. You're supposed to be worried about." Like to me, that was like a, a George R. R. Martin type thing. Like this isn't like Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm, it, it is a zombie show, right. and, and yeah, the chances of your character dying in if this were real life, are probably pretty good. Right. Um, but yeah, it just seemed like... I understand yeah, the comment, but... you killed off a main exactly. guy. Yeah, like, I understand the comment, but it's like, if if we're supposed to be like, okay, you know, you're, you're taking these stories primarily from the comic book. Yes, there's going to be different variations on the show, but Carl is a very big fixture in the comics. He was a very big fixture in the show, and now you're killing off a major... We're talking about Carl Grimes... <laughs> the son of the major character the of this show. The only bloodline. Yeah. The the, only, and that was the thing that right. pissed me off out of any of it. I'm a comic book fan. Right. More than the show. Put that aside. Let's throw the comic out of the out of this conversation for now. That's Rick's only reason to stay alive. Mm -hmm. That's his right. blood, other than Michonne. But yeah. he, Judith, yes, but for, Judith is not his. It's not his blood. <laughs> uh, for eight seasons, he kept his son alive. That was his only goal. Mm -hmm. And like he was going to do whatever he did to keep him alive, whether that's biting someone's throat off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, or right. chopping someone's head with a machete. I mean, it's just... It, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not... <laughs> Yeah, we can get into all the crazy. We'll put the thumbnail for that video of us ranting before. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. so um, let's go into it. He continues. Uh, it's a great tribute to Carl the character and Chandler the actor. It's definitely Chandler's best work. His work in this episode is absolutely amazing. It's something he should be really proud of. I think it's something people will be talking about for a good long while. We're just really excited to share with the audience. Um, of yeah. course, uh, I I would hope that it's Char Chandler's best performance because it's obviously his last. Exactly. Unless they do <laughs> any, you know, uh, flashbacks, flashbacks or something. I'm yeah. sure they will because the, the the whole old man Rick scene is you know theories have been popping up and um, I mean yeah, there's been a. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we, we just know Carl's end, his time is done. They, they've actually confirmed you know, it. All the theories that have been out there that he's immune, that because no. of the blood transfusion that Rick gave him, he's immune. No, Carl is dying in the show. He is dying. Um, it's over, people. And that's it. So <laughs> we still have him in the comics for however long, but in the show, he is done. So, yeah. That's been confirmed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and and look, I, I think that this was a nod. This part of the of the interview was a nod to Chandler. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Because I, I I truly think even the season finale, the mid season finale, mm -hmm. he did an awesome job. It was great. It and, was really and, great. And I have not liked his acting in the past. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 young. I mean, he's been yeah. doing it for a long time. So. I mean, but he did an amazing yeah. job. Yeah, an amazing job. I mean, he's still a young actor. He's going to get better and better at what he does. But I felt, yeah, that midseason finale was amazing because of you felt the emotion. You know, because it was really centered around him, we kind of knew, like, something's going to happen because yeah. we're showing a lot of Carl that they really haven't done before. And it's very, you know, he's very, you know, he's willing to die for this. And then we find that, of course, at the end of what was going on. So I thought they did. I thought they wrote it really well, and I thought that Chandler did the performance really well. Aside from it, aside from them actually 
killing Carl. Yeah, exactly. I thought yes. they wrote it well. Yeah, exactly. like the scenes. I thought the that scenes, they wrote yes. well. The yes. whole storyline of him getting bit. Oh no, no, we're not. But, we're not approved that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this was probably the most important part of the article that I enjoyed. Uh, it says, and finally, there are big, huge stories coming up that you might think will be massively altered because of the absence of Carl. Uh, but we have known these storylines have been coming for years. There are plans in place to make it all work. Uh, the loss of Carl doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be losing big uh, what's that, swaths of the comic book story. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it means that there will be some differences to them. The goal is to the the goal is that those differences will be exciting uh, to the audience as they are to me. So, yeah, whispers. It's pretty much what he's saying yeah. is that we're still. He's, he's basically saying. saying, "Pump the brakes, or you're still going to get your whisperer storyline." Yeah, um, so you know hope, that's what we're hoping for. I know a lot of other fans too are hoping. That was the major thing that the, the immediately yeah. the fans were thinking is Carl's dying. All right, what's going to happen to the Whisperer story then? You know, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Are we getting that? Or are the, they just going to do something else? And obviously the main connection there is Lydia. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lydia and Carl getting together and, and Carl taking Lydia from Alpha. Uh, spoiler alert if you haven't read the comics. <laughs> uh, you know, and that spawns, uh, uh, you know. The war. The war. Exactly. So uh, with Carl gone... You know, They're up until to... this point, up until Robert Kirkman speaking, we've yeah. been, we've kind of been in question of that. And I think that confirms that no, the Whisper storyline is still here. It's just going to be altered yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, let's talk about that real quick. Yep. Uh, my opinion, Daryl's going to replace him. I've yeah, I've heard. So there's there's been some people talking that Daryl could could be replacing, and because of maybe they'll make Lydia maybe a little bit older. They will make Lydia a little, a little older. bit older. Yeah. Um, there were also reports of uh, they could also make it to where um, God, what's the girl's name? Uh, Enid. Enid. Yeah. They could twist it and make it Enid, and then instead of Lydia, they could make it a man. You know, mm-hmm. they could twist that mm-hmm. around. Still have Alpha, but she has a son instead of a daughter. Um, so, I mean, there's different things that I've heard. Yes, it could work, but it's just going to be different. Yeah. You know, it's going to be different. Yeah. But Daryl, I don't know. Really? Daryl? I don't know. He's never had a, a love interest on the show. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> People want Daryl with Carol. No, dude. She makes good cookies. Carol's too old. She's not too old. They have something. It's there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. So, yeah. Um, so, a really quick note. Uh, Greg Nicotero mentioned that um, he said that this ep- he feels that this episode is the best episode they've ever produced. Um, this ne- upcoming uh, mid-season premiere. They said that he cried when he saw it. But he said that this 20 episode. 20 minutes in, right? Yeah, 20 minutes in. But he said that this episode is the last episode you will see, Carl. It does it justice. Chandler Riggs did a very great job on this episode, and they felt that the writing and the production of this episode was phenomenal. So that says a lot that's coming big. from Greg Nicotero. That's big because Greg Nicotero actually has produced some of the biggest episodes mm-hmm. that The Walking Dead has had, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I think that he's probably one of the stars of the whole, you know, show's uh, production crew. Right, uh, he's just the effects. He does he's stuff. just awesome. Yeah. So coming so from him, that, yeah, it says a lot. Coming, I, from him. coming, seeing, hearing that, I kind of it, it, it upped my level of excitement. Yeah. And, and kind of took some more, took some worry away from me. Like, yeah, okay, if he is saying this, then I'm hoping they did it justice. It's gonna be sad. It's gonna be sad. But I'm hoping they do it in the right way. That it just delivers, and it it will allow me to continue on to have faith that the road ahead is still good. Yeah, so completely agree. So, guys, <laughs> let us know what you thought of the article and Robert Kirkman finally uh, addressing the fans. Yep, and uh, let us know of your thoughts of how you feel the rest of the season will go and the future of The Walking Dead. Any theories that you've heard or any of your own theories of uh, the storylines of the Whisperer War or anything else could uh, come up. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. We're an Acro Nation, and we're, we're out. out.